Hi friends, in this video, I will present how we can use this inventory management system online. So first of all, go to the description, click on show more and here you will find, yes, to host and use application online, you will use this link, click on this link and download it to your computer. Click on the download download anyway and wait for the download completion now click on this arrow and click on the show folder and right click and click on properties and click this unlock apply and ok all right now the second step is go to the description again and the second step is to host uh, this app free online use this link click on this link and click on this start 60 days free trial now and all right login name email all right i have filled all the necessary text boxes and now click on the sign up now Okay, click on login and fill up the login credentials. Zero eight seven nine security code. Sign in, and it will bring you to the control panel of this hosting website. Okay, it is saying that uh, your account is not activated, so go to your uh, registered email address. Click on this email to activate. Please click on this. Click on the try now. Okay, and leave these settings as it is. Okay, click on the next and click on the Submit after you click on the submit button, take on to three minutes. Please do not close this window. So, hosting account is created. Now, we will upload our inventory management system files to this hosting. Click on the control panel, go to the files. Click on the site one, delete the existing fault.asp, delete this. Sorry. Now we will upload the inventory management zip file which we already downloaded. Choose files and select the zip file and click on upload. It will take a little time. And Close this window. All right. Check this zip file and click on the unzip. And we have to unzipping this in the site one. And you can check this one and submit. We make sure all the files should be unzip in the root directory not in the folder right you can delete this one no need now and delete so, last and critical step is to add the database credentials to the web.config file i open this tab in new and right, database Click on add database, type here your database name, submit, now we will restore our database, so click on restore database, 
and go to from my account site one and app underscore data select BMS fresh submit all right it will take some time so our database is restored go back to the database MS SQL and yes our database is created connection string example you know we have to add the data source name and the initial catalog name and the user ID and the password password is uh, hidden here when you was creating the database it asked the password the same password you will use here go back to the files folder click on the web.config and click on edit and here is the connection string this is the connection string all right the data source name is basically i have already entered the same credentials i am just presenting you to do the same data source sql side.net control c and paste here control v and the initial catalog here is the initial catalog db underscore and all this control c and control v and user id here is the user id carefully control c and user id here and control v and the password and set your password here and just click ok click on save and all is done now you are ready for the inventory management system online click on the websites and here is your url click on this url and inventory management system is ready for the online use put your credentials okay here is your inventory management system working online so thank you for watching enjoy your inventory management system online and have a great day